What is up you heathens? This is Grief Drums and today we are taking a look at some map tips and tricks for the presidential plane. Okay, so the first one is going to be a bit of a drone placement. If you're attacking from the front of the aircraft near the cockpit, you can actually jump your drone up on top of the plane. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, why on earth would you do this? But if you drive to the front of the plane, you can then look in through the cockpit glass to see if there's any roamers or lurkers hiding in there. The next cheeky drone hiding spot is in the meeting room of the plane near the front of the aircraft. By jumping your drone up onto the sofa, then onto the speaker, you can actually get on top of the TV. This offers a really good view of the room. And as with most drone places, it's not on the floor, it's not down low. The, the enemy aren't really going to be looking for you up so high. You can do a similar sort of thing towards the back of the aircraft. This is normally a room where the hostage is stored. Um, by jumping up onto the side here, you get a view of half of the room, which isn't ideal, but it's better than nothing. You can do a similar sort of thing halfway down the aircraft. This is ideal for secure area or bomb, and this gives an awesome view of the room. As far as the executive bedroom goes, by jumping up onto the side and near the TV, you can get right into the corner. The only problem with this is it's starting to become a little bit more well known, so you may be spotted. This one again is also very well known, hiding in the luggage bit um, that's blocking off the corridor. A lot of people are doing this, but what you may not know is that you can actually come over to the side, um, which may hide you a little bit more. Down in the hold area, a lot of people know about hiding in the netting over on the right of the room. But you can actually jump up on top of these pipes up here, which does offer quite a good view of the room. But you can go one better than that by jumping up onto the pipes over here. This hides you so, so well. And it does offer you a really good view of the entire room. If you plan on attacking from the back of the plane, a lot of people go ahead and use that ladder. However, you can repel up. This is ideal if you know that they are watching the area and they're keeping an eye on that ladder because you can sometimes get the drop on them, especially if they keep peeking in and out. In the executive bedroom, over in the far corner, if the enemy are downstairs in the hold, you can actually blow the floor. It doesn't look like you can because of the carpet, but it's all destructible, which gives you a very, very good line of sight downstairs. Another way of keeping an eye on downstairs if you're defending the front of the aircraft is by putting some murder holes in this wall here in the hallway. This gives you a view all the way down to the entry doors downstairs. You just have to keep an eye on your back in case they've got a glass looking through the windows. Back down in the hold, defending, a lot of people know that you can destroy this wall and reinforce the one on the very end. On the wall on the right, if you don't reinforce it, you can actually put a tiny little peek hole. By doing this, you can see as the enemy walks through. Very often, if they've got a shield, this will afford you the opportunity to get the drop on them, allowing you to shoot them in the side because they won't be looking directly at you. If attackers are coming from up above, by shooting this wall out next to the ladder, because it's destructible, you can get a nice little peek hole. This affords you the opportunity to see anyone come down from the ladder or through the doorway. Obviously, it's fairly exposed, but anyone falling from the ladder above is going to have no clue you're there because they're going to be keeping an eye on the doorway itself. When it comes to the luggage area that's blocking off the corridor, you can't shoot through that sofa. However, you can shoot through this one. A lot of people try and shoot through the hole, but you can't really see anything. If you've got a drone there and you know someone's there, just shoot through this and you may injure someone or even just light them up. You may even get a lucky headshot. As you can see, the bullets go all the way through to the very back. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully there's some tips in there that you didn't already know. If you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments below and make sure to slap that like button. Right, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and check out the playlist of the rest of the map guides. Until right, next time, guys, I've been Grief Drums. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs>